away go the 16 starters on the first of their 25 maps to take them a distance of 112 and a half miles. Tasmania has a long and rich motorsport history, and just 10 minutes down the road from Simmons Plains is Longford, best known for hosting some of the biggest names in world motorsport in the 60s. Longford lies on the South Esk River, some 15 miles from Launceston, the northern capital of Tasmania. A typical small Tasmanian country centre in a typical setting. Nothing much has changed Longford since pioneering days. It has no suburban crowding, no peak hour traffic tangles, no great noisy marshalling yards or smoke belching factories, but it does have what has become recognised as the fastest and best Grand Prix circuit in the South Pacific. It was a who's who of world motorsport. The likes of Jack Brabham, Graham Hill, Frank Maddich, Lex Davison and Bruce McLaren all raced around this incredible seven kilometre road circuit. And the starter sends the high class field away. Whilst most of the original circuit is now long gone, there's still some features that are instantly recognisable, like the viaduct right here. It's a fine representative field, including Brabham, Hill, New Zealanders, McLaren, Shelley and... Pop. But to get a real feel of the old track, here's a guided tour from Lex Davison. We're doing about 120 miles per hour as we pass the start finish line and change up to fourth and then fifth gear just before the water tower. At 130 mile per hour, we round the gradual right-hand sweep and manage to pull over 6,000 revs before the hump which takes us downhill. Then we shut off and slip back into fourth to prepare to take the difficult viaduct. We brake hard at the 150 yard mark and then go back to second to take the left-hander under the viaduct. Accelerating hard past the trees, we go up to third and fourth, drifting off Kingsbridge at about 130 miles per hour. We're now heading for the village, and we shut off early here at the 200-yard marker because the hump in the road will make you airborne. There are two to the left to take a wide arc round the pub corner. It's full acceleration as we take third, fourth and fifth gear down Tannery Strait at about 160 miles per hour. At the 300-yard mark, we rake and come back to second for the tight Tannery corner using full acceleration to get through and then selecting third on the run to Long Bridge. We rush across the bridge with the power on in an even flow, accelerating hard off it and slide uphill towards Newry Corner. We go uphill in first, second, third and fourth and eventually select fifth at 140 miles per hour past the curving left-hander at the top of the slope. Then it's full speed down the flying mile, hitting between 160 and 170 miles per hour through the timed section. Keep the throttle hard open until the 300 yard marker, then use the brakes hard and the gearbox to come down to barely 20 miles per hour or so on the very slow Mountford corner. When we're in first gear, we take the corner very slowly without any slide so that the maximum straight line acceleration can be achieved. So it's up to second, third, fourth and fifth again down pit straight. In 1962, Bob Jane won a one-off Australian touring car event here, driving a Jaguar to victory. Two years later, Longford was the venue for the final race of the Tasman series, with Jack Brabham and Graham Hill battling it out for the race win. The battle of the Repco Brabhams continues, with Brabham and Hill, winners of three world championships between them, both striving for that little bit extra to decide the issue. Brabham hurtles down the flying mile close to top speed and is rewarded with the news that he's gained two more precious seconds on Hill with a 223.6 lap. Brabham was all set for victory before a transmission failure saw him retire. Hill took the honours before giving his rival a lift back to the pits. Sportsmanship in picking up the less fortunate Jack Brabham on his victory lap of honour is genuinely appreciated. Hill pays a further tribute to Brabham after the race by declaring that it was Brabham's race right up to the time of his withdrawal. But no one would begrudge the modest Londoner his fine win. The Longford pub is one of the most iconic parts of this circuit. The drivers will take a hard right through here as the local fans enjoy a cold beer as the cars went by. Gardner, Davison, Spillwell, Yule and Matt. Back in 1962, Lex Davison tried to turn the pub into a drive through when he lost control of his car and scraped along the front of the building. He retired from the race, sat at the bar, grabbed himself a brandy and his biggest complaint of the day, the barman made him pay. These days, the pub is a mecca for fans, with amazing memorabilia of the incredible history this area has.